You're listening to TalkSlamRadio.com. From our studios to the world, we bring you the finest in quality entertainment. So grab a beverage, put out the Do Not Disturb sign, and settle in for another fine show from TalkSlamRadio.com. Tardy today, but uh, we had some uh, programming stuff that we We're had to work Greek out. Time. We're on Greek uh, time. We're on Greek time, right? Worse. <laughs> right. I'm Nicholas and Nassau, along with Louis, Louis, and Nassau. What's up, guys? What's up? We're, we're Yo, on guys. the air. How you doing, Nassau? What Can do we you got? Hear today? me? Hello. Yeah, Can you hear me? we got. Okay. We got you. This guy, well, they figured it out. You say <laughs> no, that. We're fine. He says it at the beginning of every show. That's just well, can you just once again, we're a little tardy. All right, that's his thing. All right. So, how was your weekend? It Gasparilla. Was... Gasparilla weekend. That is that is correct. Uh, uh, that's a fat that's about question. all I remember. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, wait, what did you guys do? Where'd the you fact go? that it was Gasparilla. Yeah. And... I, rem- I remember I was at Sweet Bay and then the rest. Is, uh... Uh, that's it. Uh, <laughs> what, a, what a weekend, though. Uh, a lot of parties along the Bay Shore uh, down here in Tampa, for those of you who are listening elsewhere. I, I do <laughs> remember one thing, though. Remember that there was a guy with glasses, and he was about yay tall, which on camera probably translates to five feet tall. <laughs> and he just kept harassing us at that place by McDinton's. And, oh, that guy, the guy yeah. that w- when he first spoke to us said he owned uh, 24 nightclubs, then five minutes later he owned 19, then five right. minutes later it was 14, then it oh, was... Really? And then he's like, you're only buy you around, and then I got the bill, and by the end of the night he owned, uh, like, what? And then they nine cha- nightclubs. <laughs> oh, and then I think he ended up chasing you for pizza or something. Yeah, and they tried on. to like jack know. me for pizza, uh, and I literally sure. had to give him and his friends wow. money to go away. I don't think they were even speaking English. <laughs> oh, we got close. They, they were very German looking. They were just like, "I wish I was from pizza. That's that's pizza." They were screaming in the mic. I am, that's but right. they pretended to, but that's intentional. Guy, whoa, what is? Wait, was that the idea? Was that? I'm sorry. Zoom out a little bit. What is this here? Is it like uh, a Benny a, Hill wow. show? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're zooming. Yeah, like give us some room. By there the way, that's a, that's the, a, the camera lady's not hot this microphone. week. <laughs> no, it's just Nolan. <laughs> we love Nolan. And no, Nolan. And He's our engineer. He's and Nolan's guy. half-brother. Yes. <laughs> Is it really? Well, I, last he week, might as well. Looks, last week like it was his mature. cousins. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody, I guess everybody who's white is related to Nolan. So. Pr- right. <laughs> <laughs> something. <laughs> something like that. Exactly. But uh, what we got here, Gasparilla. I mean, tell me about your Gasparilla, Nick. Oh, I started out uh, in the morning. Actually, I, I woke up at about six in the morning. We had we did kegs and eggs at six a.m. and then I went to this private party uh, along the Bay Shore. It was uh, amazing. Nine DJs, uh, just just so all at fun. once because that's very no confusing. all day long. Oh, okay, all day long. And then oh, okay. I, went, I slipped out to go to another party uh, uh, over at uh, a friend of mine's uh, right upstairs from Bella's. You know Bella's, their Italian restaurant. Yeah. Oh, that on uh, Howard by yeah. the. They, isn't it kind uh, of by the gentleman O'Neils? upstairs owns this huge office and he owns everything and uh, he had this huge party with we throwing beads around and everything. That was a lot of fun. Was there tits flying everywhere? Yes, actually there was. They were, were they like bouncing and flapping and they're like, they, ah! Exactly. And people trying to grab them because they're out of control. <laughs> you know? I, I remember we used to be those guys. We did. We did. What happened to us? Uh, now we're the it's people. Called, it's, it's called we were in high school and now yeah, we're like 90. It really was. We were like that in high school. Yeah. <laughs> now we're the people that scream at those other people because they don't even know how to do it. Really? Right, if you're going to grab, don't grab yeah. like a, a maniac. Be like sensual, smooth yeah. about it. Yeah, a piece huh? of advice to someone yeah. out there. Like if, I don't know, I mean. They're like, oh! <laughs> yeah, they're, <laughs> they're like rapey versions right. of the Incredible Hulk. Instead of just being like, oh, hey. Uh, yeah. If, if you, you know. Yeah, exactly. You know? Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, make them look to the left while you slowly like massage, you know. Exactly. It's like massage. Their breasts. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, you massage. massage. You don't grab it right. and pull it off. Like, like ah, you know. You know? <laughs> but if you're going to mac it to someone. Learn how to mac it to them. Be like, don't be like, oh, exactly. Don't be the Incredible Hulk, rapey. Blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. Be like Dexter <laughs> St. Jacques from the Bahamas. Swinging it. Yeah. Swinging. <laughs> I love so it. So that's about it. I mean. Yeah, it just uh, Gasparilla is always a little bit of a crazy time, you know. And uh, I'll, t- I'll tell you, 
Uh, just just so much fun out there. Uh, th- how many bees did you guys get? Did you get like a bee? Zero. I was no. like, what? what? The you bees. didn't go to the Bay Shore? Guy, I can Guy. spend 30 yeah. cents and get 3,000 bees. First of all, okay. March 25th in Tarpon, they bring that same boat and throw beads at us, and I have no idea what the heck that has to do with Greek independence, <laughs> but I catch like 50 of those beads at least. Maybe they're looking for flash. It's this. They it probably are. Who knows anymore? You know, I mean, that's that's just I the world is just perverted. It really it is. is. And it then really is. those beads are everywhere at every party. They literally bring them to every street festival. I've seen they them really everywhere. St. Pete, Clearwater, even even like St. Patty's Day. Like yeah. really, really, yeah. How, how, exactly. You've been to St. Uh, Patty's Day in Chicago, right? How do you compare it to here? Uh, you, can't. Gasp, you, you can't. You can't. You can't. Although it's a good First party. Of, here. Is, it, is that the number one? They're just two different festivals. Right. They're two different. Yeah. It's just totally like different. Like one so, so really what is involves the big... Irish people, and then like the one here is like. If you're has, in town, you're welcome. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it has literally nothing to do with like Irish. Anything. It's just. Because I don't think any of us are pirates anymore. Yeah, but it's just, <laughs> must, just mostly beads. And I mean, we don't live in Singapore. You know, they, yeah. they lifted that ban, though, that they had last year on the drinking. You can take the drinks outside with you, and you can whatever. Walk around. Yeah. Because they, Where, they here or no in in Tampa yeah that's what yeah I figured. because last year it sucked because you know you can uh, take nice. the drinks out with you and yeah, everything yeah. yeah that was nice that they did that this year it made for extra fun right yeah right really did and they had like seventy five thousand more police they they did they really did and ironically they only made sixty eight arrests mm-hmm. uh huh <laughs> uh-huh. that's, uh-huh. uh, that's uh that's uh that's uh uh-huh. st- that, remember, that's what he would do. Who, oh, Handsome Dan? Yeah, that's what kind of what he had just did. He's yeah, like, he's, uh-huh. The, uh-huh. He, he's well, I actually, I go, there it is, or there he is. That's, that's my line. You I'm, can't let his <laughs> secrets out. You can't let his secrets out. No, uh, that's uh, 68 arrests. That's 66 more than the Republican National Convention. And there that, were arrests at the Republican National Yeah, there was like two, because like one guy wouldn't put his knife away after like 55 cops asked him, and like another guy like was like laying down in the street, and no one would run him over. <laughs> so that was it. Maybe but. they should have just run them over <laughs> no, and gotten man. over it. That's not cool. I don't know. Why don't we have sound effects or an engineer? This happens every week, by it's the way. Right. I, you know, next week we're just going to grab the camera and be like, yo. It's like, yeah, he's not even in the room. Anyway. That's <laughs> okay. He's, it's, he's no, cool. it's cool. It's fine. <laughs> it's like, whatever. Hi. He's reading. George Saradopoulos wants to hang out after. Re- tell him we're on the air. I did. He wants to come see the show and... He wants to hang out after, and he's like, "Well, well, it doesn't make much sense to tell him from here to get on the air, but you know, if you, <laughs> by the way, what's the phone number, Nick? If they do want to call in, it is area code eight one three six three nine talk. That's eight one three six three nine talk. And maybe you could tell us about your Gasparilla or uh, whatever we're talking about at the moment. Yeah, just if you want to call in, uh, give us a call and uh, let's talk about that. Right, and then uh, please be belligerent. Yes. We like belligerency. Yes, that's what it's all about. Exactly. That's what the program is about. <laughs> it is. It, it is. Really is. You sh- if you're not drinking right now, then shame on you. Yeah, right. we should. Uh, we will drink with you. If you quit have... drinking, yeah. pretend like you're drinking. And, and if, if you never drink, start today. Yes. And, th- and then also, you know, whatever. I'm not even. Yeah, I'm, we know what you mean. Yeah. Just, just exactly. Is insane, that one of those? Like, yeah, exactly. Really is. <laughs> it really is. We're talking. You know, some chicken. Mc, uh, what's, I wish I had some fish McBites right now. Like we I know. I, I, I'm so true. hungry that I. It only I and we, we, have a, we have two hours of this together. We really do, right? Like, we, if we didn't have a video camera, we'd be like eating and pretending like, uh huh, uh huh. Oh, yeah, that's right. great. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, we're we're right. all starving to death. Right? No, but what we should do now is. Uh, Hey, uh, my man, engineer, we got like drum rolls or something. Can you just go dig some stuff? No, he's like, no. He's reading Reader's Digest. I swear <laughs> yeah, to God. George Saradopoulos wants to bring Mikhaili, but Mikhaili's not 21. It's like, what are we going to do with that? Yeah, really. Well, yeah, well, just anyway. Exactly. Guy, go get him All a right. fake ID or something. Listen to this, guys. Now, uh, during the Gasparilla Parade, yeah. uh, you know, uh, Tampa police say they have, uh, uh, they said that uh, 68 adults were arrested during the Gasparilla 2013 festivities in downtown Tampa on Saturday. Uh, 60 of those who were arrested uh, were for misdemeanors such as disorderly conduct, petty theft, and uh, possession of marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to know what yeah, the right. eight felonies were. Uh, 31 of the misdemeanors arrest were for Possession underage, of a lot of a marijuana. <laughs> for underage <laughs> drinking by an adult 18 to 20 years old. Right. Tampa Police Department does say, though, that it did not not encounter as much um, or as many younger teens under the influence uh, as previous years, thanks to the zero tolerance education campaign that they did this year. Hmm. Yeah, or maybe it's just because it was like on a Saturday and they all got grounded. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
that. So what are, uh, so what are the... Ga- uh, you know, Gasparilla has been a uh, Tampa tradition here since, what, 1947? And the uh, it, it does rank the third largest parade in the United States, according to the event's official website. It attracts an estimated about half... Uh, one and a half million people annually. Wow. 1947. Wow. So like I didn't think it was that big. Oh, that was Man, one. That's, that was wow. like peep, Wait, peep. what's the fir- what's the number one and two largest parades? Uh, it doesn't say actually. Uh, I'm sure one I'm of sure them. I'm Chicago. sure one, one of them's the Macy's Day Parade in New York. And like the other one be. is uh, yeah. St. Is, uh, Patty's Day. Same. No. What? Apocris, man, New Orleans. Halloween. Oh, Mardi Gras. Mardi, Mardi Gras. Gras. Yeah. Yep. But are those parades? Yeah, Mardi Gras actually is a parade. Mardi, well, Mardi Gras is a public orgy, but I guess they classify it as a parade. <laughs> Which I still haven't been to New and Orleans. And there were 20 Mardi less Gras. people shot in 2012 than in 2011. That's true. Where? At Mardi Gras. Maybe it's more. I don't know. <laughs> I'd like to make it to Mardi Gras, yeah. but I don't know. When is Mardi Gras? Uh, I don't know. It's when Easter is, if you paid attention to that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Are you sure? I uh, thought it was in like February. Mardi Gras is Fat Tuesday. Mardi Gras means the day before Lent. Yet Mardi Gras itself seems like the most unchristian holiday on the face of the earth. Well, that's why <laughs> they go through that. So they can, why don't like, they just call it? Sin? So they can just get it out of their system and then right. be good for forty days. Is that how it works? Yeah, why makes they, sense. Why don't they just call it public orgy? <laughs> it would just I don't know. Public or, public orgy. Jesus coming soon, and then it would be perfect. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so once again, what's that number, Nick? Uh, it's area code eight one three six three nine eight. I'm sorry, talk. Uh, eight talk. Talk. But well, we have a caller. Five five. We have a caller. Or no. All right, let's bring him on in. Is that a caller? It yes, that is. All right, caller, you're on the air. Round two. Go ahead. Wow, guy. Did we just lose just, him? Like I'm you sorry. put him on the air and then. Can we call, call, is this call fucking back, Tarpon Tommy again? No, it's not. No, it's we just like whoever. He'll probably like resurface in 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, but Nico, tell us the news. Are we going out after the show? Yeah, uh, maybe. At this I point, don't know. I might have. You're all invited. <laughs> You're all invited to Blue Martini. <laughs> yes, Blue no, Martini honestly, it is, right? Because George said I'd love it once. Oh, I, then I oh. guess we all is must Is he texting go. you while you're doing the show? Yes, we're all invited to Blue Martini. Hi, we're on the air. Did you notice that? <laughs> All right, so now here. here's our, like, since we uh, don't have sound effects, boom, uh, top of the news. Why don't we have at the bottom effects? of the hour with Nicholas <laughs> Anastas. Uh, Actually, yeah, we yeah. should go to BM. Good call. Yeah, All well, right. That, that's good. Tell call. us our top Tony, story. Tony there. All right, one of the top stories of the day. Uh, okay, let's, let's take a look at this. President uh, Barack Obama today declaring, now is the time, he says, to fix the nation's broken immigration system. Hmm. President Barack Obama on Tuesday outlined a broad proposal for putting millions of illegal immigrants on a clear path to citizenship while cracking down on a business that employ people illegally and uh, tightening security on at the borders. Louis? <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a Tommy question. What's what, it, what's wrong with this picture? Really, like, yeah. Go ahead. We he got, said you now is the time that. to fix the immigration problem. Maybe <laughs> it was time to fix it before we had 11 million illegal aliens in the country, <laughs> right? Maybe you, exactly. Maybe you should have stopped at the first couple million. <laughs> yeah, like just too little, yes. too late, my friend. Or maybe you should have thought about that before you gave the Mexicans a million illegal guns. <laughs> I'm just saying, I could be wrong. But that's just his opinion. Yeah, you know. I'm, wow. not a, I'm not as smart as uh, Tarpon Teddy or whatever his yeah, name is. Whatever, is, yeah. that, is that what it is? But <laughs> we like we have a caller that's been on for like 14 minutes. But they're not. Right, they're so just not. Call her, don't go ahead. Talk. Call her. Hey, how you guys doing? Hi. Good. How are all you? Right. What's going on? Good. Good. It's the Malacca. How hey, how you all been? Hey, how you doing, all bro? Right. Who's your pick hey, for the Super Bowl? It's been a while. What is it? Been a week. I miss you guys. Oh, that's yeah, all right. We miss you. We're glad you could tune in. So Malacca picks of the week. Let me start your segment here. Picks for the Super Bowl. Picks of the week. How did I do last week? I thought I said San Fran and Ravens, but maybe not. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think you did. Now. No, I think it was the other guy. No, it was. You did say oh, San did? Fran All and the right, Ravens. Cool. I said Who's, San Fran and the Patriots. Who do you got? You got the 49ers? Oh, actually, I said San Fran. I said never go against the Patriots. That's what I said. And All I right, that's correct. That. Uh, <laughs> well, now that we've had media week, do you still stand by that claim? <laughs> I, I like the Ravens. I, I like the Ravens now. You know, I kind of like the Ravens myself, my friend. They got a lot of four, fire. They got a lot of heart. I don't think anybody could beat the Ravens defense by four. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I like what you're saying, uh, Malaka. Yeah, good job, Malaka. I think I'm turning my picks around, and uh, the Notre Dame will be, win next year, and it's going to be okay. And it's all just going to be will. erased. And the pain exactly. will heal. Exactly. Right. And the streets will be 
filled with gold. So what are you? You guys are going to Blue Martini? You ready to go wild? Yeah, both. yeah, I yeah, think so. More, more likely than not. We we need it tonight. <laughs> we, we I'm have to tonight. Weekend. I went to Sweet Bay. They got a uh, half off all the liquor because <laughs> yeah. they're closing. Right? Isn't that perfect? And we're gonna go wild. I agree, man. That's like that's Malaka. Did you attend uh, Gasparilla? No, I didn't, man. I was actually in Mexico last week. Even better. How was Mexico? Uh, everything was good until the uh, oven exploded in my face. And what happened when you got back? Did you have new ideas of immigration reform? Because apparently, every story that involves immigration only involves Mexicans. Because Mexicans are the only immigrants in right. the country. Because we don't, right? yeah, we don't have any other kind of immigrants. You know? mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty freaking awesome. All the Canadians sneak in. I mean. Nah, no, we don't. Okay. We don't pay attention to them because they. Yeah, because Canadians are stupid, yeah. so we just like they're until just there. they start saying about and oh yeah and this and they're a like, boot and then they're like a boot and then they get stopped. Well, wait a minute now, where are you from, Sonny? <laughs> T- Toronto. <laughs> Not that, have you noticed Canadians drive like shit too? They do. It's That's like terrible. get the get the fuck out of my state, bro. Yeah, seriously. Let's if we should there. deport anybody, it's the Canadians. Right. I, They're using us for our weather. Yeah, I, I think we can make a bipartisan issue. I out think of that. their name should be Malacca. Exactly. exactly. Right. <laughs> you know, I don't see them sneaking in to get jobs that we don't want. Right? They sneak in to use our weather and drive on our streets. Yeah, and then rape us uh, with our their political garbage. Homosexuals. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Homosexuals. Yeah. Right. Uh, right. So they can get married and leave again. <laughs> so Malaka. Yes. Um, do you watch basketball at all? Uh I started to recently. I don't Oh very I nice. Mean, nothing well, crazy. What do you think about the Lakers three game win streak? Uh, impressive. I mean it's the original Lakers. I it's unbelievable. Look, this is the way it should have been from the beginning of the year. I don't know what what happened, but anyway, fuck them. That's what I'm like this year is the craziest I've ever seen the Lakers play. They're like a three-game win streak is not even news for the original Lakers. This year, it's news. Right. Like before, it was like, oh, a three-game win streak. You don't even mention it. Now it's like, oh my god, it's like they won the NBA title. <laughs> yeah, guy. Okay. I don't know. Fuck it. Yeah, three games. That's it. Now, now it's a fucking a headline. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, it's quite ridiculous. Do yeah. we? Uh, do you have any questions, comments, anything? What were you doing in Mexico? I was uh, partying, actually, oh, for so a week. Vacation, eh? Oh, that's the perfect time to go, right? Yep, yeah, it was good. I, I miss Gasparilla. I'm kind of sad. I had a friend throwing parties, but... And yeah, a lot of friends think, throwing up. I think I'd rather be in Mexico than yeah, Gasparilla. What part of Mexico? Cancun. Oh, beautiful. Yucatan. Nice. Uh, yeah, how was the was weather? Not... What's that? Was the weather warm, or was it like here? Was it warmer? No, it was very warm when the sun was out, but it was just very cloudy like every day except the last day. And him and his friends were half baked all day, so they didn't notice. And then, like one day, the guy comes and says, That's "We have to go, exploded. senor. Senor, the cab is waiting." <laughs> what do you mean, bro? I just got here. We're going to the airport. <laughs> you guys got my picks. I'll call you next week for the basketball picks. I'm walking into Charlie's. Thank right, you, sir. Oh, thank you, right, uh, right. Thank you very much, Malaka. And uh, don't uh, forget, Blue Martini, if you want, just walk to the door and say you heard it on round two. And if they say what, be like, Malaka sent me. Exactly. I'll get it, man. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> All right, brother. All right. Maybe we'll see you after the All show, right. eh? Definitely. All right. See you guys. Right. See you guys. Okay. I yeah. like Malaka. All right. If you want to give us a call, give him a... uh, tell us how your Gasparilla was. Give us a call, 813-639-TALK. That's 813-639-8255. Can we give him? Can we give him a better nickname? I, don't, I feel bad calling him. Malaka. No, Malaka, that's his name. But I like him, and I don't think we should. Call but he's Malaka. He's the sports guy. But he's the one. Stop. He's the what, one that can we talk that about name, this bro. after the show? Come on. Let him. nico has got more news. <laughs> Tell us some more news. I'm gonna shower and get ready. Re- oh. No, that's never okay. mind. That's Go a, ahead. That's a, that's a private sex, right? Yes. That's a private sex. All right. Yeah. Let's finish the news. All right, another uh, terrifying news. Uh, now, another small plane plummeted into the Hudson River yesterday near uh, Yonkers. The Yon- uh, Yonkers PD say only two people were aboard the aircraft, which hit the water about 5.20 p.m. Fortunately for both passengers, they survived the accident and were fished out of the river by local off-duty cops. 
And then all three of them had to be showered down in a chemical bath of hazmat, you know. Yes, they, you, uh, you from know, the uh, jet fuel. <laughs> no, <laughs> from the Hudson River. From the Hudson and River, that too. Yes. <laughs> and they found three dead bodies that had nothing to do with the plane next to the plane. <laughs> and, then in, and then in six months, you're going to hear these guys have like right. three extra. We have another caller. Or? All right, there you go. All right. Let them in. Well, uh, that's well, you, guy. Uh, you're calling. Oh. I'm not calling in. Oh, wow. 27884. Oh, no. No, uh, no I'm happened? not calling Go ahead, caller. You're on. You're on. Gentlemen, good evening. Good, hey, good evening. Whoa, there <laughs> <is>. <laughs> I'm wondering why can't no one get your show to start on time? Um, <laughs> uh, actually, we it wasn't. We were problem, playing dice uh, in the back. It wasn't yeah, Nolan's we fault. Oh, in the back. Yeah. <laughs> if I were you, I'd ask for a discount for this week's, uh, this month's this guy's uh, production stop, fee. Man. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, guy. We already real- took all his dice money. Dude, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the reality is, it was our fault this week. Yeah, yeah unfortunately. Well, guys, I, I'm, I, I hear Nick telling us about the the news. Uh, the story that caught my attention today oh. was uh, porn star Ron Jeremy in L.A. hospital for aneurysm. No, that really? really? Wow. That's a funeral right. I would go to if he died. No, he actually made it through <laughs> a successful surgery. He's in recovery. But I was reading the article, and it yeah. said the number of porn films that he's appeared in, and I wanted to see if you guys would be able to guess the number. The over-under is 1,800. I'm going to go with over for sure. Definitely over. I'm going to put it at uh, 1,743. No, it's like 12,000 or something. Is it? Yeah. It's 2,000. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so over. I won- We won. And right? then I win? Yeah, yeah the over under was 18. I expect right. you guys to be able to guess right on a gambling question. Uh, yeah, that right. was me. That was me. <laughs> I guess he's in nice. more films. Uh, he is in more films than Harrison Ford. Is he? Yeah, yeah, God, he really is. Porn film, porn industry is way, they do way more films. I think he may be the greatest successful actor ever. Who, if Ron? You, yeah, if you really compare him against other people. Not really. No, all right. He's just a <laughs> fat jagger. He's probably just <laughs> with, the, with the big Johnson. He does have a big Johnson. He's probably made more films than any of, like, Hollywood actor, though, I can guarantee Combined. This. Like, yeah. Because really, how many how many films yeah. is a Hollywood actor going to have? It really. Just like, what, 30, 50, 80? Exactly. You know? But anyways, Joe, what else? Uh, what's 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 uh, Super Bowl picks? We were just yeah, talking Malaka, Malaka. Malaka. You know what? I was that's the reason I was calling. I'm with Nate on this. I like Malaka. He needs a better nickname. Yeah, honestly, bro. He wants the really? name Malaka. We <laughs> gave him so it shall be. Well, next week when he calls in, make sure he's okay with that. Otherwise, he'll come up with a new name. Guy, well, he is. Just well, call he, look at the week, archives. This week he called us and he's like, "Hey, boys, it's Malaka." So yeah, maybe guy. he likes it. I mean, this is not super happy, lovey feely time. Like we're not. What, uh, you know, stop being Deepak Chopra, for real. <laughs> well, no, I, was, I, I hear you talking about Chicago, your St. Patty's Day parade. Yeah. Um, I had no idea that Chicago has the highest homicide rate in America. Yeah, we were just about to talk about that. That's because well, we're never... city. <laughs> We've already be... had 42 homicides this year. Yeah, Only? And, and, and growing. There's probably a shooting going on right Wait, now in they've Chicago. Had 40... right, New York, and New York City that. has three times the amount of people, and um, Chicago... You know, he even had more murders Chicago, than, than what do you New expect? York in 2012. They had a total of 506. So so I'm going gonna, gonna to hang up, listen, in. I want to know what you take on Chicago. How can you clean that place up? And I'll be calling all back right. in a little and later. And on that note. All right, all right, cool, Joe. And Joe is coming soon, just yes. like Jesus, but he'll be here first. Uh, uh, yeah, no, the re- the, the, you can't clean up Chicago. It just has to be that yeah. way. I'm going to go with the of- simple explanation. Chicago's ghetto is the size of Manhattan. Uh, End yeah. of story. Well, well speaking of which... Listen Which to this. one? I'm sorry. Exactly. There's multiple ghettos. The and the reason of Joe didn't know this is because Joe, like the seven million other people out of the nine, has never stepped west of like uh, the uh, Mississippi River. No, Chicago Stadium. I'm saying in Chicago, he's never uh, gone. Literally, never gone west of. Um, I want to say Chicago Halstead Stadium, Street. But, uh, no, never United gone west Center, of Hall- United yeah. Center. Never and gone he, west of Halstead Street, guy. United Center is still too west. Whatever. Uh, maybe we've, we're brave. And he's never really gone south of, like, what's that area outside of, uh, let's just say the Museum of Science and Industry. Oh, Bronzeville. But that's not really Bronzeville. Guy, if he left. was in Bronzeville, he'd understand. But right. That, he's whatever. Just he's what, never gone south of. The University of Illinois. There. That's where the south side begins. What, UIC? Yeah. What's that, like Randolph Street? <laughs> no, no, that's that's like two blocks south of Halston. Oh, that's uh, Jacks. No, so Jackson. The, no, you know what? Taylor Street, perfect. Little, yeah, yeah. South that's there. it. Boom, boom. Um, actually, uh, speaking of uh, Chicago, listen to this. There's a, there's an article today. Uh, go, former Governor George H. Ryan. Really I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. You're talking uh, on the air, my life. 
Uh, former Governor George H. Ryan today uh, was released from his actual prison. He was supposed to go to a prison halfway house. However, uh, because of his age, he is now uh, confined to his home under home confinement till July 7th. What's his age? 79. And why would he go to a halfway house? Is he a druggie? No, it's a prison uh, just for people who have been in prison uh, to go to the for halfway house. For being governor of Illinois. That right. is. But- <laughs> <laughs> there's, so, there's been so much corruption in yeah, that city. <laughs> from now on, after you're governor of Illinois, you have to go to a halfway house. <laughs> but he, uh, he he's five years older and a number of pounds lighter, and uh, apparently the former governor made a two-minute walk through a parking lot today, uh, this morning, uh, on his way into Chicago, and he even stopped off at Michigan Avenue and uh, took took a look, and he said uh, he said to the and he was couldn't collecting really say envelopes, press, but envelopes, <laughs> yes, please help me, you know. <laughs> Yes, and it doesn't in Illinois. It doesn't matter if you're Republican or Democrat. When you're the governor, you're the governor. Yeah, yes, yes it's, exactly. It's its own party. It really, it really is. It's just what its party are you? Governor. Governor, governor of Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> and, 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 and where are you going? Prison in about four years. Yeah, right? <laughs> it just just watch the other. Then you guys on the list. And do you group. notice all yeah. the governors of Illinois like live in Chicago? Isn't Springfield the capital? You know why they live in Chicago? Because Springfield's not corrupt enough for them. There's not yeah, enough, exactly. There's not enough envelopes to collect. Yeah, there's not enough envelopes to collect. You can't just yeah. walk down the street and say yeah. i'm here uh, i demand money i demand monies yeah openly where's my monies yes <laughs> where's my money oh like senor like... uh, the boss is here on tuesday well tell him to get the fuck down here i don't care what he <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? well you need to call the boss right now because yeah, exactly. i'm here right now if you want to call in on this 813-639-TALK that's 813-639-8255 give us a call uh, chicago's never gonna you know up. why though you he... know what do we even want chicago to clean up because if it no, does what are we gonna talk right? about just exactly. the murders because that's like cool the murder yeah but they're just insane ghetto people. but the corruption is never gonna drug end drug killing drugs if they weren't the corrupt state. there then why would anyone even <laughs> live there that's where people go because of the corruption because the corruption has like systematized and you can be part of it too Right. All you have to do is participate. All you have to do is in move into the town. Yeah, move into town and say, this is the scams we run here. Do, would you like to be a part so of it? So do they just yes. attract scam yeah, artists? Yeah, and then you're part of the scam too. What do you want? You want a job? You want this? You want that? <laughs> here you go. You want a business? You know? Just all you need is an envelope. Yeah. You exactly. with cash. An envelope? <laughs> or just, well, really? Oh, you don't have... Uh, can you volunteer your time for the scams? Okay, then you're in. Oh, yeah. You don't have an envelope? I'll tell you what. You why know? don't you go collect envelopes? It's, and that'll be your job. Yeah, and then when you when when you when you've earned enough, we'll make you part of the scam. Right. Well, you'll be an honorary member. There's, of It's the like scam. this American dream scam. Really, exactly. like it's it's like America, but instead of like money and all like whatever the the currency is scams and corruption. The, yes, the currency is corruption. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. That's no, it. honestly, what would we talk about? What would we go? Chicago's yeah. a great city to talk about. It really is. There's so much to talk about. Yeah. Ron Emanuel, by the way, speaking oh, of here Chicago, we go. Yeah. Please enlighten us. Urges, um, what do you call those guys? The, you know the guys like the e- the investment portfolio people, oh, hedge funds. The hedge fund, yes, whatever. Mm. Maybe Ron Emanuel is urging Wall Street because yes. Wall Street just means the financial industry at this point. Yeah, to not invest in. Um, arms companies and pull all their investment out of it so they can tank and that's the way they're going to f- fix the gun problem. And then they can buy his scam bonds from the city <laughs> this of was, This was on Fox News. Yeah. R- they b- oh, they better listen to... Rahm Emanuel thinks he's the mayor of, of the world right now. He does. And and, and he's really not. I miss Daly. I'm sorry. He's He was right? the best, you know. I really do. He was, you know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, he, in, a, in a recent interview, he actually talked about... Uh, they asked him, what do you miss the most about being mayor of Chicago? He, you know what he said? The envelopes. Yeah. <laughs> well, other than that, he said, the press, the media. I miss you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's us. Because <laughs> he used to tell the press. Common sense. Like yeah. what was going on. And he's like, yeah, I don't care if you're the press. That's what's going to happen. Like, remember, remember the black guy ran against him? Yeah. And then he started getting bricks thrown in his window. Yeah. Like, I'll never forget this. And, they, and then, like, they attacked his people on the, on the train, on the CTA. And Daly gets in the press. He's like, well, what, this is a story? And next week he's going to have a brick. And the week after that. <laughs> right. You know, yeah. I can't. What? You want me to stop everybody from harassing his guys? What's Is there a news story here? Come on. Let's talk about my other stuff. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he reveled in the uh, in yeah. the corruption limelight. Like the openness yeah. of yes. it. That it's all, you know. It is really like that show, Boss. The guy was really. And I got canceled. Well, what? we have a caller. Oh. 
All right, yes. let him in. Go ahead. Caller, you're on the air. Yeah, caller, go ahead. Hey, guys, I uh, I want to get you guys' take. Uh, this is Nicholas's friend, Andy. Hey, Andy. Hey, how's it uh, going, Andy? Andy. What's up, guys? What's up? Enjoy the show as always. I, I kind of want to get your guys' take on um, – Oh, um, Andy Field in this Hi. area because I know you guys are used to probably going to catch a game at Wrigley Field. How do you compare Tropicana Field to that in St. Mm. Pete? And would you go to St. Pete for a game day after day? Do you think this area has real problems in that respect? Love to get you guys' take on that. I'll let you take that first. Uh, yeah, with regards yeah. to that, I think the actual stadium <laughs> itself is very nice. Very welcoming, very fun. Just we have a good stadium. Like for real, touche. I really think the problem is the location. I would not go to a game day to day because I look. Even if you live in Clearwater, I mean, it's still far. It like is. the only people that are close to St. Pete to the stadium are people that live in Sarasota, which are all over eighty, and the population is about thirty thousand. Like the majority of the Tampa Bay area, the population is north of St. Pete. And they, I think they just needed to put it in a more central location, like somewhere like Feather Sound or like something like that. Or maybe. put but, it in Clearwater right. by the airport or something. By the airport. Or like you can come from all three parts of the bay. Right. I don't know. I agree with the man. It's the team's awesome. I like the Rays. I'm a Cubs fan and a Rays fan. I don't know if you can be both and not Everybody's ridiculed, a Cubs but I am. fan. Everybody, yeah, really? That's like America's baseball yeah. team, right? Yeah, it's, it's because like, they haven't won. Uh, and everyone but supports them no matter fan who too. you are. I always have been, but... <laughs> uh, there's like you leave Wrigley Field and there's a billion things to do before and after the game. You leave Tropicana Field and it's like a wasteland ghetto. Yeah. There's only one bar. What's it called? Ferg. Uh, Ferg. And even Ferg and hates being yeah. at Ferg. Yeah, yeah, Ferg's sitting there like, man, when's this going to end, man? It's just like, really? You know? <laughs> Andy, you know that. Yeah, guy, the only thing around the yeah. stadium literally is Ferg's and Pinellas Meats. You're right. In case we want to buy for the restaurant. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's our take. What do you think about our take there, boss? That is definitely definitely a, a real problem. I think you got to bring the stadium to Tampa. And well, aren't they doing that? Against, I mean, I love Pinellas County, guys, but let's face it. It is what it is. Anything outside the Clearwater Threshers or the Dunedin Blue Jays, I think Major League Baseball just should just does not belong there. It's not going to be able to survive there long term. I, I don't know, Andy. If you put the Tropicana – dome where the threshers are no one would be having this complaint nobody mm. Mm. yeah i don't know i'm like i agree it, it just has to be in tampa like that's yeah. that's the truth I, I i agree you're right i hear but let me I ask mean, you drew drew sorry hello andy yeah andy yeah uh let me ask you i thought i heard a rumor somewhere and uh you're gonna have to tell me this because you're the sports guy <laughs> uh if uh that, that because of what they're doing to Channel Side, they're going to knock Channel Side down. They're going to uh, rebuild it, and then they're going to put this Tampa Bay Stadium next to it. Is that true? Well, think about it, Nicholas. You think of places like Ybor City and Clearwater Beach and downtown St. Pete. All these areas have signatures. They've kind of, you know, people can identify with them. But Channel Side still now uh, over a, a decade rumor. after it was built, there's just not much there. And there are, there are a lot of people that are saying that is the perfect place for a baseball stadium. I tend to agree because downtown, you know, Nicholas, you're always out and about. Yeah. Downtown's got some potential. It really They're building does. another high, high uh, tower condo building down there. So I think downtown Tampa's got got to be the best place. Well, yeah, if we got a real mayor in this town, you know, <laughs> we no, have a problem with that. You're right, though. Channel Side never really took off. It's just... Like you a, said, a decade later, it's still just there. Guy, and they a, need to spend it's money. A, it's a limani, Come on, Mayor. The mayor's port. listening. Who's Let me tell you, you got to spend the money. Well, the, another problem that the Rays are having about not moving is the mayor of St. Pete won't let them out of their contract. Uh. And they went and filed a complaint with the Board of Commissioners and like, we can't do shit. The mayor's got the contract. Yeah, the mayor uh, of Tampa get, has to get off its ass. And he and says not the mayor they, of Tampa. They, well, the mayor the of St. Pete won't know, let the know, Rays but, out of their but contract. But I'm saying the mayor of Tampa has has to get off ass and like rock and the roll rays it. say the stadium's ugly the outside is why can't you your tropicana right why can't you paint it like an orange that's sliced in half make it all fun and nicey and or is Come that on, just mayor too of tampa much? wake up and smell the too much? Uh, no guy it's just and man, like put a garage andy's yeah, right make like a little base thing you know it's like wake up and smell the ballpark no, because mayor of tampa. <laughs> it's not the games it's not the rays it's called it's the tampa that. bay rays it's the, the location like bro. someone's got to tell them this, this is florida there's a million things to do if you run out of things to do 
then you, you suck as a person. <laughs> exactly. I, I totally agree with you. Sp- and, speaking of teams moving, actually, you know, I think eight one three six three nine talk call us now. I'll, I'll tell you right now, I the go Magic to, need to move to Tampa in, too. In Chicago, I go to Wrigley Field games like the other eighty thousand people because we're bored to death. What are we gonna do? How about just go to Wrigley Field and drink beer? Yeah, that works. That's it. You know, but no, guy, you're baseball's gonna... <laughs> cool. Like honestly, I would go. I think I've been a more like I like baseball more than hockey, yeah. but I've been a more hockey games than baseball games just because of. Where the Ice Palace is. Sorry, I still call it the Ice Palace. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, What do you think there, Andy? Oh, yeah. I think, uh, well, I mean, hockey, I know the Lightning are doing well. The tennis is doing well. I still think, guys, we've got to protect our baseball team with everything we got before we worry about our hockey team. No, totally, you know? and that's why. I mean, obviously the football team has to stay here. But if we have to choose between hockey and baseball, come on, people, that's no brainer. Yeah, we're not Canadian. Well, exactly. Well, Andy, let me ask you this. No, but- honestly, but that's what my point there was that the reason that the Lightning have such a good attendance is because of their location. I think. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Yeah, well, yeah, I, it's definitely a big, big part of it because when that team is doing well, that building is full definitely after night. And guys, I leave. You. I just want to bring up one more thing. You know, I, I think I'm going to make it my mission because of what we were talking about last week to every time I'm in a different community in the Tampa Bay area, try a Greek restaurant. Uh, last night I was at Greek Village. Okay. In, uh, in Largo, I, yes. I went to a high school game there. And, uh, guys, I, I walk in, I sit down, I'm looking around. I was kind of impressed by the atmosphere and thinking, oh, you know, maybe I'll bring my parents here. But I was highly disappointed by the actual meal. I got lamb on pita. The lamb was good, but it was so the portion was so small that I had to order something else. I had to order a chicken yeo, and they brought me the chicken yeo, and it was like three uh, Xeni chicken strips on a piece of pita. It, it, it was not authentically made like we know right. and like we love, guys. So huh. so uh, there's a little restaurant review for you. Greek Village and Seminole, not bad. I'd probably give it about a C rating. Yeah, I've, I actually know the owners there, so... I love. I'll guy, let them know. Yeah, for guy, sure. Guy like lamb. Lamb is like eleven dollars a pound now. No, I, it's really I not. Know, it's right? four. It's, it's, but it's lamb good. is four dollars <laughs> a lamb. pound. Guy. I don't know if you like lamb. But no, I I'll definitely <laughs> let them know because uh, you know you're not the first person that has uh, mentioned that actually there, Andy. So, guys, finally, I just want to tell you, keep up the great work. I really, really enjoy the show. Oh, thank you. We thank you. We Thanks like again, Andy. That. Thanks, Andy. All these Andrew Filios there from Bright House Sports Network, the uh, sports anchor. Yes, and we is he, are you still there, Andy? Uh, we couldn't get him to plug. We should have put That's a plug. Right. Well, when you call right, back, he's have, good. Do we have another call? When he calls back, we'll plug him. Uh, uh, I believe we, so. We had a someone, guy on hold, I think. Do we have someone on hold? Hello. Yeah, hey, this is Drew Netterfeld from Helping Wall Street. Hey, Drew, what's hey, up, how man? You doing, how are you? Um, Drew is a friend hey, of mine, I, and uh, he has some. Uh, he has something he wants to talk about because yeah. Uh, why don't you let a, him do that, bro? Yeah, I'm going <laughs> right. to. And Drew, go ahead, man. What's up? Hey, hey, just listen, I want to uh, congratulate you guys, first of all, on your uh, your huge success. I understand you're breaking all kinds of records over there. Oh, thank so you. So we've been told. And faces. Yeah, we've been told. <laughs> no, I'm, I don't know. That sounds oh, I just got that in yeah, faces. Yeah, yeah. Right. Anyway, go ahead. Thank you. Look. Uh, yeah, so I, I just, um, you know, Nicholas, you and I have known each other for a little while. And, yes. And uh, uh, we are... Um, uh, you know, in the same business, obviously, we're we're. I'm the founder of Health and Wellness Channel in in Tampa. And you got and, uh, you got something big coming uh, up, don't you? Do, do we have something big going on? Yeah, well, we, we're we're the uh, we're the first and only health and wellness um, uh, content developer and provider uh, in North America at this point. We're we're across cable and broadband and online shopping and on TV shopping and conferences and conventions and radio and publishing. So, and yeah, wow, we know that's amazing. It's, been, it's been a two year venture to this point. Awesome. And, and congratulations tell, on and, that. And, 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 yeah, definitely. Uh, and also tell us about that window studio downtown that you were telling me about. Yeah, well, we've got a, uh, we were really fortunate. We, um, we chose the Tampa Bay marketplace for our home base because it really embodies uh, health and wellness. Uh, it's got, you know, obviously Florida has a great tax structure. Uh, right. that yeah, that's yeah, the that's the real like number reason. one reason. Just yeah, tell us the truth. That's the real reason. The taxes and the sunshine. <laughs> Just like, you don't need to, the rest is like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the rest is gravy, but yeah. we did find a fantastic, and, and uh, the, the, the city of Tampa has been great in working with us in, in uh, 
providing us with with tax incentives, et cetera, to uh, to bring jobs, et cetera, to Tampa specifically. But also, you know, we've we've we found a great place in uh, the Channel Side District, and for those of you who mm-hmm. don't know, uh, it's a um, it's an area that was sort of reclaimed. It was industrial. It's on the uh, far east side of Tampa, just east of downtown. It's where the mafia used to and whack people. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. It really was. Sorry, go ahead. And it's it's uh, it's famous now, obviously, for the home of the Tampa Bay Lightning, which uh, which play in the in the Forum. But uh, but not much else. And so we've uh, several months ago we signed a, a letter of intent to bring our studio there and sixty thousand square feet and hopefully um, hopefully sort of reinvigorate the north side of, of uh, what's known as Channel Side in, in Tampa. And we're excited about it, and we've got some great um, uh, uh, spaces uh, and, and uh, facilities. As you mentioned, Nicholas, there's a. a, a a window uh, to the street facility called uh, our Studio D, which uh, which is kind of along the lines of, of the Today Show uh, setup that they have in New York, where oh, wow. people can come, people can come up to the, from the street corner and and, and watch what's going on uh, inside the studio. So we're excited about it. Yes, I'm excited about that too. Wow, I mean, that's I, amazing. I, all I, the best to that. I would love to see the Channel Side area get reinvigorated. Yes. Yeah, and then that window studio, you know, for broadcasting, be. that'd be great. And yeah. also, Tampa has less crazies in San Francisco, so you made a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, well, uh, that, according to uh, Forbes, this is number five most depressed city in America in terms of medication did, prescribed. Do you remember that story? But St. Pete is number yeah. one, so. <laughs> Yes. There's a lot of people that need to get off that shit, so good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, Drew. Uh, Thank uh, you. Drew is a good friend of mine, and uh, we can, uh, anything to help him yes. out. Yes. Good and, luck to and you. If we you appreciate get, the call. No, we really do, honestly. We really do, honestly. There's and a, honestly, good luck for the, yes. I'm really excited about the channel. That, that's going to be wild. And, and, uh, and that's web- when they'll redevelop it, right? And what was your website again? Well, that's a start. Yeah. Well, he's starting, uh, bit, in essence. Our over. corporate website is hwchannel.com, and we're having a, uh, just for those uh, football fans in the Tampa Bay marketplace, we're doing a, a charity uh, event for um, the SPCA on Sunday for Super Bowl. We're hosting what's known as the Kid Zone at uh, something called Superfest, which is at Fountain Square uh, uh, Bar and Restaurant and Lounge area out on Davis Island mm-hmm. in Tampa. You can go to uh, Fountain Square D.I., dot com for more information about that event but we're uh, we're hosting the kids zone there from 12 to 6 this sunday oh nice all Very right nice. sounds, good. Oh, sounds you may, good you may see us there all right yeah we'll it, be there it, okay, at the bar not the kids zone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, drew you know you can join us at the bar you know yeah, that. right that's right <laughs> and then we'll throw the, the football can. Uh, yes that's right <laughs> all right thank you right. so much drew we appreciate thanks, it drew. all right thanks for the call and once again nico our phone number is 813-639-TALK that's 813-639-8255 give us a buzz and talk about what you want to talk about and let, because let, we uh, want we want to hear about you and, and then we're we going to make fun of what you want to talk about exactly. yes <laughs> <laughs> unless unless we like it then we won't make fun and of what it. the heck <laughs> let's ramp up the belligerence here here please man. i was just gonna say why yeah, are we running like the fucking today so, show we're so quiet what is yeah, this yeah i know guys? right this are we just too you know what we were like let's behave this week you, fuck you you know we didn't have booze we didn't have our booze this week yeah whatever you know what speaking of spazzing out and energy stuff give me the next story nicholas all right the next story here we go ready oh god these are yeah. fucking wonderful uh, yeah. look at listen to this are you ready yeah all right the, the chicago city council Son today of a bitch. exactly has not been listen, hesitant listen. to ban things in recent years as we all know especially smoking in bars you know how that's uh, oh and kids uh, eating cupcakes in school yeah but i agree with that obesity is out of control yeah apparently country. it's also against a lot to be fat in chicago go on but now, uh, the Chicago City Council... Well, Council- we have a caller. We have a caller. Oh, okay. We have a caller. Go ahead, caller. You're on live. We'll talk about that in a minute. Who is this? Is this Nicholas? Yo. What's up? Mike. Hi, Mike. Mike. How are you? Go ahead, caller. How's- How are you? Good. What's going on? Not too much. I'm just living thin, but I would like to talk about the Bubba MJ trial. Oh. Right? Oh, my right. God. You know, we totally we'll skipped that, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, I like it, right? We'll talk about the energy have drink you, in a minute, but go ahead. Have, have you guys already talked about that? No, 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 no we no. haven't. We Actually, totally a good choice. Like, go, yeah, good choice of Good things, call on bringing that up. Yeah, what the hell is it even about for even those know, people that don't? Exactly. I don't even know anymore. It was, the most, it was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life, but I was glued to it. 
What's he suing him for? What yeah. did he do? Who's suing who and why? Well, well, do you know that Bubba, Bubba got cleared of all the charges today? So what? Uh, MJ was, wow. uh, yeah, I heard was that. suing Bubba? MJ was suing Bubba for defamation on the fact that basically he had pubic hair on his head. No shit. It was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. So Bubba said up. that MJ has pubic hair on his head. And, and that... Schnitt really wanted to take that to trial? Basically, that's what it boils down to. It was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Did he really have pubic hair on his head? What a waste. <laughs> what... He does have, it, 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 if you pulled down my pants and you put me next to MJ, yeah. we would be identical. Oh. My head, well, my pubic hair versus his head. Can I defame MJ on the air right now? Please. Even though well, I like your show. You can. Please do. What a jet. Malaka, MJ's, MJ's penis should be on his head and his head should be on his penis. <laughs> And he's a Basically, malaka. Yes, you are correct, exactly. Louis. How was life? What a jagger. <laughs> Why the fuck would life. he even take that? What a waste of exactly. money. And, like, th- th- if I was a judge, I would have had MJ arrested. I would have, like, for wasting my death time. Death penalty. Yeah. For wasting or my time. Or deport him to time. Mexico or something. Shit. Asshole. He's, he's, he's done now. He's done with Tampa Radio. Does it? Does it? Yeah. Whatever, guy. He fuck him. Fuck I'll, be up, I'll be up at 6 a.m. That's okay. Morning. We'll take his let's, place, right? Let's think the 1025 the bound. Yeah. No, yeah. wait, but, you know, Bubba has a face like a malaka, too. He has that mean face. You never notice that? Looks like a, yeah, he looks like the devil. He looks like he's ready to yeah, beat you. He looks like the devil. He does. He really does. You Like uh, like, uh, like El Diablo. Like There's that movie with that oh. guy who's the devil or something, and he's in there's Mexico. There's a lot of movies. And he's but like. I would rather, yeah, but I would rather like fuck Andy Bubba Alvarez. than MJ. <laughs> Well, I can't even believe that's. Re- I can't even believe that even made headlines, guy. That that lost. Yeah, Hulk. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, no, it's, it, it is the most sensational story I've ever heard in my guy, life. Guy Hulk got on the air and awesome. said he banged his uh, Bubba's ex-wife. I didn't see a lawsuit for that. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and remember the Hogan trial and all that shit. Yeah. I mean, Hogan. I mean, Hogan was Bubba's best friend, but. I can't believe you guys aren't talking about this yet. Because MJ, guy, why are we going to talk about it's, MJ? Because like you said, it's the most ridiculous MJ homosexual is story like a, ever. Yeah, it is. MJ is like an old version of Man Cow. And if, <laughs> and if you know Man Cow, you're like, why? why and Man Cow hates the Greeks. You know he that. really does. Because of well, you guys uh, Dimitri Megat. What you guys need to follow right now is that <laughs> during the closing statements, Bubba's attorney was amazing. Yeah. He basically boiled the whole thing down. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm walking right now, so I'm... I'm getting a little winded. Are you on your way I'm to walking, a bar? I'm walking from McDinn to Postside Park. All right. Oh, there you go. All right. See, <laughs> see, people really do drink when they yeah, listen I'm getting, to us. Yeah. I'm getting winded because I smoke 15 cigarettes. So Finally, a man who drinks. Is there a special about, going on there tonight? A man who drinks, drinks for a living. I love He's that. Missing. We're okay. missing. It's 9 we're to 11. We're missing right? Evening. Yeah, Sounds it's alright. We're gonna be at Blue Martini after the show. Yeah, so. right. yeah we're going there. Let's see the guy at the door. Tell him Blue Martini. Tell him the I'm not gonna be there because, you know, Nick. I don't go north of Kennedy. And, oh, fuck. You don't go north. Walking. You can't swear on the air, only we can. Right yeah, no, you're good. It's no, like I was just going to mess with <laughs> No, MJ, for real, MJ, MJ. I don't even have anything to say about it because it's just yeah. that homosexual. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. And MJ, MJ should be like, why is he even, you know what? MJ should be like financial reporter. Just like get him out of here. Exactly. Look you know. That. Well, no, I am, that's, I am that's a financial the thing is that he needs to go. <laughs> he needs to go. He needs to get the fuck out of Tampa because he fucking sucks. This whole trial was a waste. MJ of money. should be in Chicago and Mancow should come to Tampa. You see, watch their careers would take off respectively. Exactly. Right. I, I cannot believe. I cannot believe that a conservative talk show host would sue a morning radio person in Tampa. Right. What, what, he, he him for. what did he sue it's, him for? I mean, yeah, what, for what was the exact, uh, character? Yeah, but what was his damages or what? Nothing, because they he he, he didn't get Bubba on anything. Bubba was clear on all charges, and the fact yeah, that he was, was suing him cities. for what he was suing him for yeah. when he's a conservative talk radio host and he was also a warning host in Tampa is ridiculous. What he should have done. I mean, the guy. What the guy is is a big time Obama hater. Yeah. Big time Nancy Pelosi hater. Right. Which I, I mean, can't, I can't fault him for that. I mean, he's not well, bad, no, but it's cannot, like really. You can't fault him for that, but the fact that he was, he probably called Obama the Antichrist and all that shit. <laughs> I can't mean, fault it's him just for that fucking ridiculous. You know what? Let me defame him right now. Not only does your hair, your hair doesn't look like there's pubic hair on there, it looks like someone was scratching their balls and it fell on your head. 
And I don't know how you got in that position. He's talking well, about yeah, MJ. That happens, that happens when you order the thing from the what? airline magazine. Where right. <laughs> and, I, and my advice to MJ, Malaka, you're bald. Big deal. First of all, they cured baldness 25 years ago. What are you complaining about? You can pick 75 different surgeries and no one, you know. Right, especially when you make like $60 yeah. million oh. dollars a year. Besides, women don't care well, what's you, on your head. They only care what's in your pants. <laughs> and in your pocket. Well, especially gonna, your pocket. He's going to sue you all for defamation. Not oh. me. No, no. no, no uh, my name is Mike. That'll just make us more famous. <laughs> that's all I'll yeah. That'll just make us more yeah. famous. Yeah, that's exactly. Uh, that we, it could Bring be. it, MJ. Yeah, yeah let's, make, let's be more famous. Defame. I want to live forever. <laughs> I want to learn how right. to have hair. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Give us a call, 813-639-TALK. That's 813-639-8255. Or dial your AT&T operator and tell them you're retarded. Exactly. <laughs> well, All right. Oh, we have another caller. Yeah, we, we have, have another, another caller. I'll talk to you later. All right, come on. Put them on, put them on. All caller, right. you're live. Caller, you're, you're on the air. I'm Gentlemen, good evening, Gus Phillips. Hey, Hi, Gussie, Gus how you Hello, doing, buddy? The you? one and only Gus Phillips. Doing well. In regards to the whole Bubba MJ, mm -hmm. it's a scam. They're both in on it. Mm -hmm. Free ratings, paid off the lawyers. It's a right. scam. Yeah, guy, that's what I said. Fucking publicity stunt, honestly. Absolutely. Did yeah. you see Better the sideshow, though? Increase your ratings. I mean, look, you guys are talking about it. Yeah, why do you, uh, about on it a side note, why do you think everything's a scam? Yeah, What's that? Said. Why do you think everything's a scam? For real. This is definitely a scam. Hands down, 100%. <laughs> All right, tell us something oh, that's not uh, a scam. How about that? Yeah, that's, that's uh, how go you ahead. Right, Guess, tell, we're uh, waiting. Phillips. No, no there, nothing exists in the world that he doesn't think is a scam. Well, tell us something that's not a scam, and we'll uh, we'll back off. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's Hello? a scam. I know for a fact. Oh, wait a minute. Are, are we linked in with a I think we caller? have. Are we on three-way? All right, other callers got to wait. Yeah, then. I, I, think, I think I'm still on the air. Oh, I'm oh sorry. yeah. Mike, yeah, you're still you are on the air, dude. Yeah, What's up? Yeah, I'm I'm no, yo, engineer, can I, we... I, no, yeah. let, me, let me listen in, though. Don't oh, hang okay. up on me. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, let's listen in, okay. Go ahead, uh, Gus Phillips. You, by the way, Mr. No, engineer, we got to learn how to put people on hold. <laughs> Gus Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> like, if they call in, please put them on hold. You can't put people on hold on No, it's interesting, but here's the damn Why is he... He's on Skype? I don't know. Gus Phillips, you're hot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's not too much else to say. It's 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 just a way to increase your ratings. Again, I'm talking about it now. You folks are talking about it over there. Um, which is a better way to do that? By the way, how's but California? Have you ever seen the movie Conspiracy Theory with Mel Gibson? <laughs> can I interrupt with something totally different? Is this one of those can Wednesdays? Can you hear the other caller? Is this? Yeah, you can hear. Okay. Is is this one of those Wednesdays where everybody's like too tired to be belligerent? Probably. Yeah, I think so. Honestly, we're way too like calm and way yeah. too civil, and I don't like this shit. I, no one's screaming. Right. Honestly. Mm -hmm. well, well, when you when you Why? get somebody who calls in who says it's a scam, and then oh, here it we go. just doesn't it doesn't rhyme a scam to me. Guy, you're still hungover from Gasparilla. Like we can tell. I right am now. still hungover from Gasparilla. You are right. <laughs> Mike, wasn't that a fun was, party? Was you were at that party. <laughs> is that what it is? Is everybody like? Is that everybody's so? Maybe that's because I'm so. From... I, man, look, that was a rough night. Even that for was me, Saturday. Right? It's that now Wednesday. I'm night. still exhausted. I'm, I'm, I'm right. totally exhausted. And I walked about 14 miles, if did not you? more. Yeah. Did you guys go to like? Oh, house you parties can't too? walk 14 miles. I, I did on Saturday. Hey, you should see this guy when he walked <laughs> in the roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> that, we don't want to talk well, about that right. either. But anyways, <laughs> uh, story. Gus Phillips was about to tell us something that's not a scam. In a year, maybe, but not a day. Oh wait, well, I'm sorry, Gus uh, Phillips. Gus Phillips, you still there? You, you, I said you can't walk 14 miles in a year, in a day, maybe in a year. Look, no, guy, day, just guy. work with us, okay? Yeah, exactly. Oh, someone just Gus. Hey, hello, Phillips. Uh, he's gone. Mike. Yes, right. I'm still on. Call Gus Phillips back. Call Cut this Gus guy Phillips off. Back. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. yeah. All right. All right okay. We'll talk to you later, guy. All right. Um. All right. Uh. Getting back to what is we were Gus, talking about. Gus Phillips. Don't come Listen, back. You, got, you have to call, back. call back. Listen call to this back. now. This is interesting back. because this is a very interesting story. Alderman Edward Burke of the 14th Ward in Chicago proposed uh, a ban God. on the sale of distribution of high energy drinks of all of them, but the most uh, monster. Because Monster is... Uh, so is Red Bull still illegal? No, no. It, it will be illegal. 
So now there, no one's going to be able to go to the bars and Re- drink Red Bull vodka. Yeah, done. Yeah, so no more now, Jaeger bombs. So now if every bar in Chicago is officially about the tank. Uh, yes. It's about that, yeah. And no Monster Energy, no Five Hour Energy, no... You know how they have those caffeine shots you put in your coffee? Yes. Th- no, done. If you have a, you have a question about this, give us a call. 813-639-TALK. And once again, Rahm Emanuel does this because why is he against it? Because it doesn't involve homosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> It's true, guy. That's right. Rahm Emanuel's Rah- MO yeah. is if it has nothing to do with homosexuality, he wants nothing. Just ban it. Ban- I'm against burn it. Burn it. Burn off it. with its yes. head. Like, he's, yes. he's ruining Chicago what Mayor Daly made. Yes. Fuck he really him. is. It really is. Exactly. Uh, you know what? Uh, Emanuel should have never gone in, really. And and he, he almost, well, he almost didn't because of uh, he lived in Washington. There was some scandal. He got the show Boss canceled. Yeah. Get it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Just tell them how how that happened. There was a gay guy on Boss, though. That was the. Weird you know part. why that happened, guy? Because it was it's on Showtime, yeah. and it's the truth. Like everything that if happened. If it was on HBO, it would have worked. Everything that happened. No, that's mm-hmm. actually true. Yeah, like but, honestly, yeah, really but that show was probably the most realistic show ever made. Period. And what, you had Fraser, and yeah, had, you know, I never saw Boss, it, but you claim it's amazing. Go, like, yeah, it was amazing. Download really it or something. I I saw it. it I don't know. It's great. From, yeah, everything he did on that show a week later, Rahm Emanuel was doing. <laughs> so maybe he was reading the script and was just like, "Oh, this sounds good. I'll yeah, do exactly. it." Exactly. <laughs> it really is because that's how he runs his mayorship. That it really is. It yeah, is. Uh, Rahm Emanuel, you need to be out as mayor. Uh, you're done with. Uh, you're done with uh, uh, your mayorship. You're not going to go for another four years. I'm sorry. Right. I don't. <laughs> and, and I want to know what Gus Phillips thinks about people this. in Chicago aren't listening, listening to this. By no, the way, Gus guy, Gus Phillips, just leave Gus. By the way, uh, Gus Phillips doesn't talk about politics. By the way, Snarf, you're off the hook because you live in Morton Grove. Yeah. So this is only in the city of Chicago. Che Guevara. Oh, who? Here we go. Right? Oh. When they ban all your stuff, like, how do we? Like, why do they got to hear all that? I don't know. Who Forty thousand dollars of sound batting, and you can't get a decent phone system. <laughs> <laughs> You say that every week. Because it's uh, true. Is yeah. that just part of the show now? It really is. It really is. <laughs> is he Gus, not going to answer like he doesn't know? Like no, he's called? not going to answer because he's just... Because he's listening in and yeah, yeah, it's probably stroking. It. Maybe he's getting a beer. What? Stroke <laughs> me, stroke me. Ah, he does. Up the phone. Trust you me. have reached the Sprint voice mailbox of... Of Jagoff. <laughs> <laughs> Please leave a message. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where's Val? APB on Val. APB on Val. <laughs> He's disappeared, man. I think he hasn't he been calling any I, of us. He might have found a girlfriend. I think he found you a know, girlfriend. I, I, he did. And, and, he didn't, and he didn't call him last week when we had a, what's her name on. We haven't even been, guy, he hasn't even been calling um, during, like, uh, personal calls. Like, nothing. Really? I'll tell you what, if Mr. Engineer doesn't run away, like, okay. Like, why don't we take a <laughs> three-minute break here? Because yeah. I'll tell you why. I've got the most funniest shit of the night to show you. I've Please been waiting do. since we started. And it involves Zorbas, and it involves just, I can't tell Plus you. Plus, I have to take a piss. Yeah, no, but for real, okay. don't leave. We'll play you one of them nice songs or something. I got to show you a video mm. that you will die And on the radio, laughing. we can still show a video. And because it involves our trip to Zorbas. TalkSlamRadio.com slash round two. Yeah, tell your friends to get on the air, because especially if they're Greek, especially if they know Tarpon Springs, you're going to die laughing when you see this, I promise. We will start a brand new controversy in only three minutes. Yes, please. All right. All right. Are we?
right, we're back. Yes, we're back. So cut that stuff out. You probably drove him crazy. Thanks a lot. Anyways, I swear to God, I got lost in the studio for like seven minutes. And then I passed by this place. I think they were video editing. All I heard was rock and roll music. And I, the sh- smell of reefer was so strong, I almost died. Almost died. God, why do you act like reefer is like this big deal? Anyway, next, moving on. Whatever. Here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. Just I'll, play the video. Look, we went to Zorba's the other week because we got bored. <laughs> and we're like, where we go? We're Friday, like, yeah, Friday night, last Friday night. Because we're like, well, eh, let's go to Zorba's. So we call Zorba's Z- greatest patron, Michael Agudakis. Yeah, and we say, what's going down? And by the way, they remodeled Zorba's. It looks nice, actually. And Zorba- they're continuing to remodel, and they're expanding it, believe it or not. Zorba's is awesome. Zorba's is making a comeback, folks. And they have Like, the, for real. They really do. And they have the greatest singer i've ever seen the guy's really good the guy really is good but to top it all off the, his look is just amazing this guy's like mondo macho and just, everything just, so just can we just play the where video? is uh the video the video where's the video mr engineer there it is hold on uh you just have to see this for yourself drag drag no there <laughs> just watch oh here we go if you're online you can watch this Yeah, I, yeah, he is a midget. Yeah, he is. And yeah, his voice is really good, but the camera sucks. Oh, by the way, he's wearing a red suit, which you can't see. Yeah, the lights are red, but his suit is yeah, his suit blood is like red. ruby red. And yes, those women are like 4 foot 11. I guarantee you Gus Phillips will call in after that. Please call him. Balaka, he does the best at Beko. Look at this. And he's and he's got the the hand the passion on. the fire for real. We're, this guy was awesome. That made my whole night. Guy, we dropped like two hundred dollars in Zorba's. Just to watch that guy. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Like when he not to mention it's rapey. It's very rapey. But it's Zorba's always was. No, right. but no, they but they pour good drinks though. Yeah, they really do. You can't fault them for that. Look at this guy. Look at all the money on the floor. That's for that guy. And Zorba's hasn't gotten Jartura like that in like 13 years. Really? And the other singer, is, is, is she's a dime piece and a sweetheart. But this guy got literally all the this money. This guy's literally a player. He's a, a pimp. Oh, I forget his name. And he was like, and the guy he was like macking it to the women. Look How do you not go into a man's effect when you're really? Right. Look at him. He's egging it. Look, man. Look at the monies. It's and those, for him. those aren't even dollars. Those were like tens. Maybe even twenties. I didn't come out. That was like his crew. All was, right. Guy, he was with this Cut woman. It was like this woman that was like six feet tall. There's the band. I don't know if you can see him that well, but... The George Sofos passed away, so they suck now. Yeah, they really do. They don't have a good replacement, but... But I'm telling you, Zorba's, man. Look at this. Look at him. Those ladies are really short, by the way. And that guy's... The guy is literally like two and a half feet tall. The guy's a I knew it. I knew he would call back. Put him on. Put him on. Put him up. No. Okay. Go. Gus Phillips go alive. Ahead, Gus Phillips here on the air. That's a big because music, guys. Nah. Got How do we cut the video off? It'll uh, end now. Okay. It's ending now, anyways. Yeah, right, we're back. Here. Cancel the video. Just cancel the video. All right, right we're go. back. Yo. Uh. Yeah. Sorry That's about that. That's a big because music, guys. You know what else? Kaki Kaffi. You're on the air, I guess. Zorba's. Zorba's live in Tarpon live, Spring. Live, Friday night. Why does Why does the good shit happen when I leave? Honestly, it bro, really, it really does. You have to see this. You know, guy. you would have like paid to be there. This Wait, is that is that real? Or did you guys like edit it? No, I no, swear to God, why wouldn't that's it be wrong. real? That's he, mad he, wrong. He comes wow. up to your table. He sings to you. This guy like jumps on tables. Man, he. Tells women like crazy stuff. And like he was him. like looking up women's skirts and going like, Panaya, <laughs> yeah, man. Honestly, I guy, it was God. so funny. He, Does he get hammered? Yes. Yeah, guy, he was hammered. 
I'm t- he's cut off for the business, man. Think about it. At the end of the night, he's have to like lean over to pick up the uh, the chatura, the cat. <laughs> oh man, I knew he was gonna say that. Honestly, I knew he was gonna say that. was it. No, tell me that wasn't fucking priceless. Do you remember that show on HBO with the uh, circus people? Remember, <laughs> and like one of them was the devil. Remember what was it called? Come on, Nico. I don't know. Ah, anyway, I don't know. You know, did I'm you love about? that video? It was with the kid from Terminator Three. Wow, Eklas is in the studio, bro. Uh, who? It doesn't even smell, guy. You're you, just being uh, a Anyways, <laughs> okay, Gus, Gus. I got to pretend like I'm smiling and you, don't oh, smell. I don't even know what. <laughs> Gu, Gu, would you pay entry to get in there and see that guy sing? Malaka, he's saying, He just, dude, he, he know what else. He, he really is a good singer. Would you pay entry for you to get in and see that guy? I would personally pay, I would personally pay him. To be able to be on the pizza, my dude, when I travel out. Right? Yeah, man. The guy, we threw Hartura at him, man. We were like, this guy was like loving life. He was like, the, I think. And Mike was yelling at us because he, he was embarrassed. And he's yeah. like, bro, the, <laughs> people know you're making fun of him. He's like, why are you taking pictures, Louis? What? I'm like, because he's on stage as a performer. What if, man, everybody's looking at you. They're taking a picture, man. They know why you're taking the picture. <laughs> bro, that's a mexila, Popsi. That's a mexila, Malaka. And I'm like, guy, I think you're the yeah, one. Yeah, it was, it was funny. And I was like, I had, like, I had it out with him, man. He was like ready to kill Oh, him. the culo was there, too. Yeah. What part of Greece is he from? Do you know? I don't know. The guy, the, the culo, small part. The culo, <laughs> the culo was at Zorba's. Who's that? The culo that had, like, Mike got punched in the face at the uh, <laughs> Zervaki dance. And that guy threw him out, like, the culo. <laughs> the guy that threw the Zervaki thing yeah, last guy, year. Yeah, guy, he's just not flying there, guy. He's not He's not flying. He's not getting is it not right? No, no, I understand. No, no, no names. Remember the rules. No names. No yeah, names. but we're not. Trust me. That's I didn't say. It. I call them the culo. Or or fuck it, bullet or an hour. Yeah, it is no, honestly, an hour. It yeah, is. and that video time. kicks it Mike, off. Mike, was like yes. going nuts. Like, bro, I've seen the culos. Make it die. Make it die. And then he's yelling at me. Why are you taking pictures of him? And I'm like, I think you're the one who's got a problem because, like, he's a nano. You're supposed to ignore him. The guy's putting on the greatest show of, of his life, man. <laughs> Exactly. He, he, he really was, man. He had a lot of fire. Yeah, I mean, he wouldn't be on stage if he had a problem. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, what? Are you the type of guy that sees like cripples and Mike like, had don't look him in the eye? Don't look him in the Mike eye. Mike had a complex for him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The guy is totally loving life, and he like usurped his complex that he determines that he should have had. Yeah, <laughs> like fuck this guy. Why doesn't he have a complex? Yeah, like what? Exactly. What? Dude, why does he? Why does he go out in the street and play cards and sing in Zorba's? It's like, a guy, you know. Yeah, yeah, that guy's probably gotten laid more times in his life than we've robbed it out in our lives. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> That's the... What else? Exactly. Guy, he had three women on him that night, and he had another one in the booth waiting for him. <sighs> you, are, you, are you upset because you weren't there, buddy? Oh, man. Yeah, man. It was, it was very mint. <laughs> and, <laughs> and we're going to BM after the show. And apparently there's no more fans or air conditioning in Zorba's because we choked to death from the smoke. <laughs> Did you? Oh, my oh God, God <laughs> yeah. dude. Oh, no. Zorba's is back. Is it? Yeah, yeah. mad back. And it's like, I've, been hearing, I've been hearing that for the last 25 years. Who's no, got it no. Guy, no. Like we, have, we, we have guy, had the back times there. Is no, it yeah. no, we don't Guy, know. for real, for real, they're expanding it. They expanded it already. It's Letso back. It's like mad Let's are yeah. Yeah. It's that's like, even a word. It's just, yeah, trust me, full word. effect, um, like the bridge it, painters. Like. Yeah, it's like the bar from Star Wars, only better. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, if I see how to do it on the floor, definitely coming a long, long way. Yeah, and, and that's after the guy, I'm not And that's after the guy swept up like yeah, half of it. Yeah, like they must have had like a Lithuanian guy or a Serbian or something. I don't know what it is. Because he goes and says like, every night they come and I choke on the cigarettes. Why can't they stop? Right. That was this the worst. That was the worst. Yo, back to scams, quick. Yeah, Did you guys please. hear about okay, the? Please, uh, I don't yeah. know if you talked about it earlier, but yeah. about the uh, young lady here in California, the Craigslist scam. Oh, that's right. You're in California. How oh, that's real. Happen? Did that, did something like that really happen? Yeah. Did you hear about it? No. 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 Please, please tell us. Yeah. Yeah. No, go ahead, uh, Gus. I, I heard. I mean, I heard it on the way to work this morning. But basically, what happened was <clears throat> she's a 49ers fan. Yeah. And she went out to Craigslist. She wanted tickets. And supposedly there was a Raven season holder that had Super Bowl tickets, two tickets, selling them for 5900 bucks, close to six grand. For right. both or each? So, for both. Scam. Right. So, I know, right? And, 
No, because they, they, if they were real, they would have been like twelve grand. But anyway. <laughs> anyway. Please let him finish. This dumbass calls the guy, says she wants to purchase the tickets, right. goes and wires him the money. Stop it. To a place in Cambodia, yep. right? She gets a pit, she gets a uh, a package the next day in the mail. Opens it up, you know, excited to get the tickets. She sees like a picture uh, in the envelope, and it says, "Go Ravens." Oh wow! Wow, wow that's fucking that's... amazing. She really wired money. Yeah. Wow. Do you know the first thing that Holy comes up cow. when you type in the that's... Craigslist um, website is avoid wire transfers and scams. Exactly. That they all yeah, said. But yes. That guy, yeah, I, I, honestly. Know. That was the guy that you know. Uh, I, I honestly don't even feel bad for her. Like, yeah, are you yeah, that honestly. dumb, wow. lady? Like, How honestly. stupid. <laughs> but she didn't send the money when the lady who was the former prince of some Southeast Asian country said, "And uh, you know, like, my husband died, and I need you to help me bring my stuff to the United States. Send <laughs> you send me two thousand dollars. You ever see that? No. Yeah, it's a classic scam guy. <laughs> Wow, the only thing right. Craigslist is, 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 is good for is like used tennis rackets or last minute escorts. No, and <laughs> real. <laughs> no, Absolutely. honestly, yeah. honestly, it really is great for marketing uh, your property for rent. Like, I don't even, for my personal properties, I don't even use signs anymore. I just put it on Craigslist and like in two days it's rented. And don't forget Craigslist in Espanol. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, listen to this. Yeah, exactly. You're on. Yeah, we go, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 it's Nick. no go ahead. No, I was going to say, uh, Gus, listen to this story. You ready? You, you guys like shopping. I know you guys Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Not yeah. really, but I'll say uh, yes. Well, not, okay, Thano over here. You yeah. love shopping. Listen to this. Credit card users may soon suffer from a surcharge shock. Uh, retailers are now have the right to imp, uh, impose up to 4% surcharge on all credit card purchases in stores. Yeah, I saw that on Fox News yesterday. Yeah, what the, well, what's the, going on? The plus side about that is if those stores have a branch in one of the, I think it's seven states that don't allow that, then they can't do it at all. Uh-huh. Like, they can't even do it in the states that allow it. They just can't do it, period. But anyway, Florida's one of the states, so we don't have to worry about that. But yeah. honestly... Yeah. Look, guy, it's not that bad. Like, I don't blame them. I mean, everything's going up. Everything's expensive. Like, what the fuck, right? Like, they got to keep their doors open, too. No, I, I totally agree. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, especially, like, at malls, you have all these jag-off people that go in the mall, walk around, use the free air conditioning for, like, nothing, while these people are paying, like, $30,000 a month in rent. Yeah, it's the jag off that breathe the air for free. Give us a call, 813-639-TALK, if you want to uh, Whatever, chime Lou, in on this. Lou, you're just mad because you're one of them. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> I breathe the air for free at the mall, and he doesn't like that. <laughs> no, guy, those people have like bills to pay. Are you like okay? So they don't have to be at the mall, then, do they? Whatever, guys. Are you like one of those you, Korean guys. shop owners? Like, get out, get out. Yes. You, you don't yes. buy, get out. Yeah. You don't buy, get out. No, no. What? What? What you look for? Why are you looking at that? You gonna buy it? No. Okay. No, you say you use too much proper grammar. It's you know, buy, get out, out, out store. Right. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, we got another caller here. Oh, S- hello. Send him on in. Make sure this computer's plugged in. Caller, yeah. you're live. Caller, you're live. Go ahead. On round two. Yeah, this is uh, Bill from Brooksville. Hey, Bill. Hi, What's Bill up, from man? Brooksville. I was wondering if you guys ever pick up women. Oh, I know who Bill from Bo- Brooksville is now. They're Gus Phillips. Uh, I don't know. It de- well, obviously not on the show, but it depends. Sometimes we do, bro. Yeah, like we're not. Sometimes they pick us up. They're not waiting for us in the studio, exactly. Lou- I'll tell you what, Louie. Picks up mega blacks. <laughs> he does, dude. Black women. <laughs> they, black they, women. Love, they love Louis. Let me tell you. They, I, oh, we were McDonald's Black women once. throw themselves to, to, on Louis. It's fucking No, weird. let me tell you. We were McDonald's. I have a good story. We were McDonald's once, and they got the wrong order. And there were like 40 people in line. Louis's like, screw the, what did you say? Fuck this. <laughs> they screwed up my order. You walk in, right? There's a 40 people in line, literally. And the black lady looks at you. She goes, what's, what's your name, name, baby? Yeah. <laughs> From the back of the line, yes. And she's, Honest to God. And, and she's she, like, get out of the way. Let him in. Let him in. I'm like, I'm just like, they gave me the wrong order. She's like, take this up. You know what? Here, keep that. I'm going to give you a brand new order. And I'm going to add hotcakes. And, and like she's like literally stopped the entire. How about that? And she gave no. you a hug. And, and uh, give me a hug. Fuck that story. <laughs> Fuck that story. And just and just to add to 
not like overweight, obese black woman, you know, like holding a piece of Popeye chicken in their hand. We're talking about like hot, hot. Yeah, like yeah. American woman. Like that black mommy who hit like on Beyonce or Haley no. Berry. <laughs> the best, the best or Louis. what's her name, Rihanna? The something. best yeah. Louis black girl story is oh, the hard rock. Yeah, the hard rock when fucking this, it was literally this black chick that was at like a Christian, she was a Christian school girl. And she literally came up to the bar and like point blank, like tried to rape him and told him, I want to come up to your room and I want to like blow you and I want to fucking like wow, guy. have that, my uh, way with you. That was like, like, but that was ten years ago and I didn't have a room, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> but he did have a room. No, I mean, I never didn't. mind because someone's. Uh, never no, mind. I, I know. I know why you're doing that. Way. Yeah, never mind. Mm. But anyway, no, that's no, just that's that. the greatest fucking that really black chick I'm story not, it, ever. It just, they just, I don't know. I like black. Like people. she literally wanted to rock this fucking guy's world. Yes. Eight one three six three nine. I think they think he's like in the mob. Right. No, they guy, they just love him. That. They're like, hey, sugar daddy. Like, they think he's, like, fucking, like, it's just funny. Yeah. Do they like his black attire? No, I think I think they just love no. slathering peanut butter on him. I don't even know what that means. Or, like, though. slathering lard all over his body. Guy, and like, what are you doing? Shirt and the black jacket and the, you know. And the wow. and the and the elastic Who's khaki shorts. Yeah, really. That's Bill from Brooksville. Oh, that's really good. Wait, what was what was Bill's original question? Do we pick up women? And that's how I said Louis picks up mad yeah. black bitches. Yeah. Are they toothless? I did. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been listening. Cut Bill off. I don't know. They might. Please, they they might have dentures, bro. No, I don't know. No, they, they weren't old, for God's sake. No, but I don't know. They, maybe the crack made the fucking teeth fall no, out. No, guy, don't say that. <laughs> Why? Because and do you guys beat people up? Sometimes. No, some no. Oh. Sometimes we get beat up. Yeah. Actually, Louis. Women. Speaking of Louis, Louis loves it, literally another. Louis gets turned on when like women abuse him, both <laughs> physically. Is, really? No, both I know. physically. <laughs> he just that's his like assumption. Both physically oh. and emotionally, it's like fucking hilarious. No, okay. he guy. Guy, thinks. don't lie. You know you love it. <laughs> like you do things wrong on purpose just to get beat. Ah, uh, <laughs> because it ends in me getting my way. No, you do. It ends it on the man blowjobs. Stop yeah. that. Just like doing. What, D. Didn't... All right, whatever. <laughs> no Stop, names. Whatever. No names. Sorry. You always make up names. You know what? Honestly, though, like we are fine. Whatever. But then he'll throw out names of people that are not connected to the story in any, in way, any way, shape, or form. form. All right. <laughs> right, right. Like what a per- fucking to perpetuate his animosity, his, his own scam. But, yeah. but but you do so well with the women. What do you what, 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 you want to give me an award? Go ahead, fine. I do want to give you gonna, an award. I accept. You got Go you got the fucking Emmy award because that's what you should get. <laughs> because guy, can I videotape you banging? No. Mm. I think it would be phenomenal. <laughs> no. Why don't I videotape you? For Look, it? I've seen you bang, but I just want to videotape it. Okay, that's great. Wait, who was on top? No, guy, just the the bl- the, the, the chick. <laughs> this is not even <laughs> the true. The chick. Right, How do we get care. to this point? Whatever. <laughs> Seriously. Yes, we have, all we've right. all had orgies. All right, go all right. Yeah. We have another caller. Wait, wasn't, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it, wasn't the story? It was an Cut him off. Cut or this guy. We have another caller. Caller, go ahead. Go ahead, online. please. Yeah, it's Mike again. Oh, hey, Mike. Mike. Yeah. What, How's life? <laughs> the one, the one, well, the one thing I want to say is that the guy in the brown shirt. You're wearing shorts. Yes. And your whole legs are facing the camera. Yeah. Yeah. So you can pretty much see down your shorts. And that's it. Why are you staring at what are are you staring at his junk? I thought you were gonna yeah. say I was scratching my balls because yeah. I really do. But are you like staring at his junk? Yeah, but but shorts on camera in front of the camera. No guy, where do you see? Yeah, like, where is his junk? In? Yeah, like And why do you like Is this yeah, camera exactly. zoomed in on us? How about now? <laughs> oh jeez. Well, please extend them more, but good night, guys. All right, good night. All right, good night, Mike. Thanks good, for calling. All right, 813 639 talk. Give us a call. <laughs> Did he literally, was he literally like five, rubbing five. it out to my like, leg? He probably I was. He was mad drunk. He was drunk, drunk but he was mad drunk. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That was just creepy. But thanks for watching. Tell your friends. And listening to. <laughs> Why didn't I he think. have a Zorbas comment? Uh, like, really? That was the greatest part of the show. Yeah. I want that guy on this show. We're getting him on the show. Who? Uh, nah, no. Yeah. Uh, okay. He has a name. I can't remember what it is. We'll just call him Vasily or something. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of Like, something. even when we meet him, yeah. that'll just be his new name, Vasily. What's that? <laughs> but my name is Mikhail. Or, or Vas for short. No. No, no. no it has to be Vasily. But ching that was like a fun. Yes. Right. Is Bill from Brooksville still with us? 
Hello. Bill from Brooksville. Bill from Brooksville, go ahead. Uh, I you're think right. you're on the air. I think he got cut off. Oh. Uh, Gus, that, Gus, here's, Gus here's Phillips an is still story. on, right? Here's mm-hmm. an interesting story. Listen to this. Oh, here we go. If it's not belligerent, don't bring it up. Honestly. No, trust me, you're going to love this. Best out oh, of Costa. This is belligerent. Best I, I, have, yeah. I have a great topic to bring up. And, hang, uh, hang, I think it's great for other, other right. callers this, this or is... viewers to call in and, and, and uh, give us their input on it. Let's yes. do it. Because say it. Go say ahead. It. Go ahead. What's your thought? What's going on? What's the deal with Kennedy? <laughs> what? In Tampa, I mean, I hear, I've heard rumors that there's massage parlors everywhere in the Asian places. You could go in, you could pay. They give you, they give you a massage. Sometimes they bathe you. Sexual acts. You heard it or you, you experienced it. You wrote a New York times bestseller. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. He's got the uh, New York times bestseller there. Go ahead. Uh, Gus. No, you know, just that's, that's what word on the street is. No, a lot of them got shut down. They got shut down. Yeah. Cause it got too excessive. Except seven, <laughs> seven Star is still there. They remodeled. Mm. So is Mons Venus, though. So. Mons Venus is a that's strip not club a, that's strip that you up never right. go to, so just stop. It. Actually, I've been there a couple times, Yeah, probably to, like, <laughs> eat lunch or something. No. Right. You went for the free buffet, bro. No, By the way, no, no, in no, case no. you don't know, Tampa's, like, the only, like... It has the best strip club. I, every strip club in Tampa, yeah. for some reason, has, like, a buffet and, like, lunch. And, it, like, they do. And, like, steakhouse dinner. Penthouse Club has free lunch, you actually. Know more people yeah. sign deals Are you there serious? than I'll anywhere go, else. I'll go for a free lunch. No, I won't them. eat there. Yeah. Do you really want titties with your tater tots? That's, that's <laughs> what I don't understand, but okay. It's funny. No. I don't know. How can you do both? Like, have lunch and get an erection. It doesn't happen. You can. If you can, then you are you should be in the porn room. Right. <laughs> you know what else? You can't get an erection when you're shitting. Where? Oh. Yeah, I think the body purposely made you look. Like, because I've, I've gone and taken a shit while having an erection, and as soon as, like, the shit starts coming out, it's like, boom. Ah, it's gone. Erased. All right. That's weird. Gus, listen to this story, because this is a really good story. All right. Well, we all know Dennis Rodman, right? Absolutely. Okay. The worm. He has just come out with a children's book. No way. Yes, that's, it's, it's that, Was that exciting? And, and, no way. And it's <laughs> and it's actually called uh, Dennis the Wild Bull. <laughs> and it's about his cock. <laughs> <laughs> is it a children's book or is it like it literally? It is a children's book. That's or is it a children's says. fucking porn or it something? It really is. Like, I, it's yeah. to stop the spread of homosexuality. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, if anyone can do it, Dennis can, bro. Right. <laughs> and in, is Madonna in there or a depiction there? No, because Madonna's all about homosexuality. And but she was begging the crap out of Dennis Rodman when it counted. And and wait a minute, <laughs> listen to this now. Wait a minute. And and the on the front cover there is a large red Chicago bull, on on the cover. Uh, and with a and big black dick red, and two balls. Follow, following <laughs> red hair. Wait a minute, listen to this. Following <laughs> red hair. Uh, and <laughs> following red hair and two nose rings on the bull and a tattoo and a red stubble under this chin. <laughs> and it's giving the finger to Scotty Pippen. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Is that for real? That story is for real, by the way. It really, it really is. is. And the big black dick part's real, too. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Can we get belligerent now? <laughs> I think we're already there. And it has athletes for I think it's one of those Roscoe's moments. Yes. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Thank like, you. yo, no, sir, you, no, can, no. Got a, yeah, you can go to Roscoe's. Seriously. The big, already there. Uh, the, the, big, yeah. the big play. <laughs> Only Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Dennis Rodman should run for uh, mayor of Chicago. <laughs> exactly. You know he, he was, would actually be good. I'd vote for him. I, I, I think he'd win too. I, I really I do. Yeah. Too. If if you have a if you have an opinion on this, please give us a call. Eight one three six three nine. Definitely, he could, he could definitely make Congress. <laughs> There's not even a doubt about that. Eight one three six three nine eight two five five. Give us a buzz. So you have an opinion Guy, if on Dennis Rodman was in Congress, Congress would actually shape up. <laughs> They really would. Or throw Just like the Congress would get shit done. And I have a feeling he'd actually run as a Republican, too. Guaranteed. Yeah. Just like Uncle Luke ran yeah, Republican like him mayor. Yeah, Uncle exactly. Luke can run for, like, Speaker of the House. I'd, if, what if him and Uncle Luke ran for presidency? I'd vote for Rodman, him. Rodman, Luther. I'd donate money. Yeah, 
I Boom. swear. I had to donate money. I'd do whatever. Guy, and they'd run as Republicans because they really are like hardcore. Luke is hardcore Republican. He really is. And no one is more perverted than him. Ever. But uh, just or because was. you're a Republican doesn't mean you're not allowed to like right? and have sex. <laughs> Uncle, he had sex on stage in front of 30,000 people. Right. It wasn't voluntary, but, you know. <laughs> it happens. It, 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 it happens. happens. Yeah, well, if a man gets raped by a woman, what is going to What's he going to do? Say no. Yeah, there's a point where it's just like, you know. <laughs> have your way with me, bitch. <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> like I said, is Gus Phillips still on the line? Yeah, no, I don't think so. No, he's no? not. He's not. No. no, he's. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, oh did you hear? Uh, do you hear about that? Uh, are you, you eating or watching porn? No, I was like ADDing, slash <laughs> eating here. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So, Hi guys, I'm gonna run. Uh, uh, yeah. Real oh. quick, quick proposal. Next caller, I think should win a night out with you guys tonight. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good round idea. Two. Night out with us. And next caller, give and us a, a big call black right dick now. Eight one three six three nine talk eight two five five. It's eight one three six three nine eight two five five. Yeah, let's, and the let's bar tab that. is on round two. Yeah, right. Only if it's a female. It's on Nolan. Oh yeah, exactly. it's on Nolan. Eight one three six three nine talk. And from Canada, that's eight one three six three nine talk. And if you're outside the U.S., just dial your AT&T operator and ask them to dial for you 1-813-639-TALK. <laughs> Isn't it uh, double ones? Or, no. Guy, who gives a I shit don't anymore? <laughs> I don't know. You know, or just get us on Skype. Yeah. I'm sure we have a Skype Talk name. TalkSlamRadio.com slash round two. <laughs> and the uh, engineer who's playing on Angry Birds will tell us. <laughs> yeah, I played Star Wars. Oh, that a smile out of him? Wow. I played Star Wars Angry Birds today. It was fucking Mondo. Really? Yeah. The best Angry Bird is uh, Obi Wan Kenobi. You can use the Force. What? Yeah, it's pretty cool. When are they gonna make a Dennis Rodman Angry Birds? And 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 he's a big, big black, black dick. dick. <laughs> and that's what you use to kill the pigs. The big black dick. You you, you rape <laughs> them till they explode. <laughs> and they explode like all on the Death Star. Boom! You know. All right, listen to this. Ready? You know how Zorba's is like the bar from Star Wars? Yeah. Can we, like, put fake calamari people in there? <laughs> you know, I got some pictures. I think we'll do that for next we, week. I, honestly. It really is. Because it really is. If you, if I, you know. If it really is. The, and, like, fucking Jabba the Hutt owns it, bro. Really? Yeah, look. If you really wanted to go to a place in the real world that was like Star Wars, if you're that much of a Star Wars fan, go to Zorba's on Athens Street in Tarpon Springs. You will. I'm trying. You'll just try me. You'll want to run up a two hundred dollar tab too. You guys, <laughs> you, you know, really will. Uh, you know, you know, this weekend coming up is a big weekend. <laughs> Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Oh, sorry, the big game. The We're big not game. licensed. I'm sorry. Why, sorry, you NFL. You can't say the word Super Bowl. No. We can't say that. Why not? Can, only can the, we, I'm sorry. Only with the a, NFL's consent. Can we say it in Greek? Did I miss a meeting? <laughs> it's been like that for like five we years. We can't say okay. like in Greek. No, we can't even say that. Super Bowl like. <laughs> the bit, the big game. Okay. The big game. Okay, the big game. The big game. Uh, the big game. People uh, like it. You know, advertisers are. I love watching the commercials because advertisers are now learning the art of a tease. Uh huh. Supermodel Kate Upton. Now listen to this. Appears uh, in an online Mercedes Benz video. Who's Kate in Upton? A, I was, I've been wanting to say that all night. Yeah. Are you She's sure? A it's, supermodel. Are you sure it's not Kate Moss? No. Does. Kate Upton. Isn't like Kate Upton the sister of the lady who became princess? Uh, does our engineer know? Right. No, her no, name's sorry. Pippa. Her name's Blowjob. <laughs> okay, what's well, Pippa. Pippa. That's Blow literally job. her name. That's her name, Pippa. Yeah. Well, Pipes. Kate Upton, uh, Blowjob, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Pipes. <laughs> Pipes. Uh, it started a Mercedes Benz video in a low cut Pipes. top uh, and an unknown. How low? Walk yeah, an unknown man walks up uh, with his face covered in uh, smeared lipstick and his hands bound uh, in furry and handcuffs. Whoa. And barfs into her dress. In, Wait, is this part of the video or did this guy get arrested for this? No, this is part of the video. In, oh. in a clip, 30 Rock uh, star Tracy Morgan uh, seemingly curses in a spot for craft uh, flavored drops or new whatever. Yeah. Um, of what? Drops of cheese? Yes, I, I believe Just so. Just take that off the market now. <laughs> yes. The big game advertisers no longer are keeping the spots a secret until the big game, though. Uh, they Does are it releasing... say big game in there, or yeah. are you putting that? I'm putting that. I told you, because they're not allowed to say big. Yeah. You're not allowed uh, to say it. Since yeah. when can you releasing... not say Super Bowl? That doesn't even make sense. Guy, you can't advertise. You can't do shit. 
Advertise about are what? We, are we going to get a It has to be this? the big game. FCC is going to find us? No, the yeah. NFL will. Oh, okay. About what? Because we said the word Super Bowl. On the Guy, air. Uh, I'm sure they don't give a shit about, like, whatever. But you can't, like, legally. Legal. They have, you can't say, like you can't advertise. Question. No, guy. Unless you're licensed by the NFL to do so, you can't say so not, Super but, uh, Bowl. That's, wow. uh, that's impending freedom of speech. There. Joe, Joe, call in, call in. Oh, yeah, Joe, we need <laughs> we need, we need your opinion if you're out there. Joe's out having a Robin 639-talk, <laughs> give us a call. We have 30 uh, seconds. Oh, uh, 30 seconds? Is that true? Is this show over? Yeah. No. It's 11 yet. o'clock. Yes. Yeah, but no, we, we, went, we started later. I know, but I just want to go to the guy, bar. The guy says that that's not over. So no, guy, 11 not. o'clock. How can we just go to the bar? You guys got like another 20 minutes if you want it. <laughs> okay, we do, and we, we also do. got another caller. It. Let's put him on. Oh, huh. Here we go. Caller, go ahead. Caller, go ahead. You're on the air. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Yeah, uh-huh. there, there he is. There he is. All right, what, what was the Super Bowl question, the legalities? I, I, I sort of uh, nodded off there for a second. Nassau says that, wow. We saw guy. Yeah, we just said it on Nassau the air. says we can't say the word Super Bowl on or, the air. And you can't advertise saying the word Super Bowl unless you're licensed by the NFL to do so. And as we just said it like many times in this program now. <laughs> well, you're not you're not doing it for commercial benefit. No. I mean, you're, yeah. not, you're not using it for any gain or in that regard. So there's no no harm there. I mean, okay, you're pretty so, there, so as, a, as an attorney, Joe's an attorney, by the way. You, you got to remember, they, they own the, the, the rights. They probably have a... Uh, a, um, Trademark. My, my like it says right here, news from the Associated Press, Super Bowl advertisers. Yeah, exactly. That's what it says. So you, I mean, when you're referencing the Super Bowl itself, you can say Super Bowl, yes? Right, but you're not advertising. That's, that's different. To use right. it in advertising, you're using it for commercial gain. That's a different story. If you guys talk about the Super Bowl, there's nothing wrong with that. Like we can't get and say, come and watch us during the Super Bowl because we're on. That, no, that we would can't. Be, that would be unlawful, correct? That's a different story. Right, but okay. that's how you but, use it. But as long as we're talking about the Super Bowl, we can reference it, right? <laughs> That's right. Hey, I want to say, by the way, great, great show tonight. Uh, it was okay. I, I'm still we don't trying need your to, to, to uh, <laughs> sort of uh, butt heads here with Nate on the belligerency and yeah. uh, curbing uh, the use of certain words. No, guy, today we had to do it because we were, like, way too civil. Yeah. No, seriously. it was a great show, but honestly, guys, you need to let me know next time you go to Zorba's. I had no idea that we had that in our backyard. That's phenomenal. The greatest Did show Did you see Earth. the video, guy? I, I, I need a copy of it. That was fantastic. I'll you like so on money. Facebook. So money. It really is. You really have to call all your friends. And honestly, like, it was busy, too, bro, and it was Friday. Usually was Zorba's Why wouldn't it be busy? <laughs> Who would not go see that guy? <laughs> I would pay a cover charge, honest to God. Yeah, guy. It was yeah. fucking awesome. And there is no cover, so you can... And there's a sign. <laughs> that, you know, they've remodeled Zorba's 200 times. And, and they're guys, expanding. I haven't been there in about five years. Guy, the problem I had about five uh, years ago was... I would go one week, the bottle of it at Sina was 20. And the next I would go week, the next it was week, 90. It was 30. Yeah. I go the next week, it was 25. <laughs> you just never knew what you were going to get charged. And you still don't, my friend. That part of Zorba's has not changed. <laughs> exactly. You know, when the bill comes, it's got like six lines of scribble. Right. And then, yeah. and then numbers and then a total. <laughs> no, that, they, they did fix that, though. I mean, No, they did. really didn't. But. They it's pour- worth it now just because of that guy. And they pour good drinks now. They don't. Remember, they used to like charge you. Like New York prices, and give you this little tiny thin glass that was like an orange juice glass. Oh, and and they were bombas. You can explain yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. bombas. You know what that means. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the they, they were missing bottles in the back room, but those were the previous owners. No, yeah. Now they have like trust me, we weren't hangover. Hold on, maybe hangover we could put on good. that video back for a second, just so you can see. I don't know if you can see. Well, I'm using the wrong mouse here. Where is it? Let's so Joe, oh, I'm sorry. We have another video actually. No, it might be the same video. Can we see there? Oh, what is that? There he is. There you see is. him, Joe? How great is this Joe. guy? I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> phenomenal. Yeah, right? This guy's fucking brilliant. <laughs> and look, he's looking down the women's... He's checking out the woman and looking up her dress. This guy is like... Uh, That's hilarious. Look at him. I think you all realize you have And no he just stuck his head in the crotch. Wow. Yeah, he, went that, he just destroys, he destroys competition. This guy's like a sexual masterpiece. Look at him. <laughs> He's like saying to a vagina, guy. What woman wouldn't want to... Get his number. It's Vasily, right? Yeah, that's, we, what, that's what we think. That's what we just call get him. Get Vasily's number. Invite him to Blue Martini. He'll be the most popular guy there. This guy's down I'm to hang. Sure. And he's Between. wearing a, a ruby red laser shoe with a carnation in it. I love it. Only the Greeks. <laughs> 
It's straight out okay. of that show. All right, then we're back. Okay, we go. Great, great show and tonight. I, I think you need to get uh, Dionysia to uh, call back in in the next week. Yeah. Well, how about we get her live, bro? Even live better. better. You're still obsessed because with we can, it, aren't you? You know I'm going. Yeah. To, you know I'm going yeah, to I Chicago. Think we all are. You know I'm going to Chicago next week with Louis just to go meet her. Wait a minute. Whoa, like whoa, I'm not whoa, kidding. Whoa. whoa, whoa. No, I'm gonna get screamed at. You're not going on Wednesday night, are you? No, no, no. not either next week or the week after. Well, if you going. do, Joe, uh, we need to talk. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. If if you guys go when the weather gets better, let me know. I, I will go to Chicago before the middle of March. Right. Yeah, but for the young it's worth it. Hey, right. You know what? You're right. <laughs> like Joe, honestly, Joe, all right, guys. Actually, listen, have a Joe, good night. By, by the way, before right, you go, Joe. Joe, hello. Yo. Okay. He cut well, us off. He cut us off. He cut us off. That's all right. Joe will be on like in. Uh, Couple, couple weeks. Couple well, weeks. Be, be, uh, speaking of Chicago, really quick, I, I gotta throw this one out because this is the CTA this, comment. No, this is the a, CTA and, and more line. sports. No, stuff don't, no, this is actually a pretty cool thing. Um, well, they heard that on the I air. I know that they heard the first they one heard, on the air uh, too. No, they didn't. No, but seriously, uh, thousands of Chicago-style pizzas are. We got a caller. Fuck your story. Oh. We got a caller. <laughs> <laughs> 